You think you just gonna walk away and you go. But no, it's gonna be great for worship. It's gonna be a of motivation. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, put your shining shoes on there. Yes! And let go and let go. Yeah. Oh, he's good. Yeah. 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 Oh. You know, I just feel like um, we're gonna bring it to a close. Call the worship, you know, the ones who have, who's going to be getting the right hand of fellowship. Because sure enough, we have had church. And I can feel the power of it. We ain't playing church. We're having church. Somebody know. You know that you know.
Oh God, that I will be the one, Father God, that when you call, Father God, I will hearken to you, Father God, and I can stand before you, Father God, and I want to hear you say, well done, my good and faithful servant. But God, until that day come, I'm asking you, Father God, to allow me, Father God, to bring forth the word of God to your people, because you have called me out of darkness into the law of the sky. And Father God, I realize that it's nothing about me, but it's all about God. And Father God, use me that I will give your word, your word to your people on this morning. So God, that some hearts may be touched, souls may be saved, and they will hear, Father God, and they will usher themselves and say, Lord, here I am. I surrender all to you. And God, when all has been said and done, we ask you to remember us. Give us a home in your kingdom. Where the weary shall cease from troubling and the weary soul shall be at rest. God, this is our prayer in this morning. How do we hang on the cross? Let your people seek none of me but the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Let every heart say amen. 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 You know, I woke up this morning with a slight headache. And then I said, you know what, God? You and Jehovah Rapha, you think you're going to die. And I need you to hear me. Yes. He said, speak the word. My and when I speak the word, when I spoke the word, I, I know I'm not even the word. And I know that God would do just what he said he would do. Oh, because if he was not a healer, his word would tell us. But because he's a healer, yes. I can truly say, you know, I can eat so. Oh, but I can still say, I can still speak the word of God. Because I have a choice to do better than God's glory. Yeah. And I promise my God. While I'm on the path. Yeah. And if I die preaching the word of God, okay. it's alright. Yeah. It's alright. Yeah. Because I'm preaching to make it to the kingdom. And I'm preaching for God people to know what thus says the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. But because I'm still in the land of the living. The month of December, where we're going to see millions of people out in the crowded malls shopping and buying gifts. Oh my God. Some go be online, you know, and you go online and we shop. You know, we're going to be shopping for those catalogs. And then to say that on Christmas morning, you, the gifts that you give to the children or to your husband, to your friends, they open it up and it says, oh my God. This is not what I want. This is not what I want. You know, I can tell you this, Rosa. And if the words that are coming out, the patient is rushing with your car. You know? The wrong color. And then you get us saying, I'm just going to give you the money that you buy it by yourself. Yeah. But one thing I truly do know that the gift that we have been given. It's the greatest gift of all. And that gift is what everyone needs. That gift doesn't have the wrong color. That gift doesn't have the wrong size. That gift cannot be broken. That gift cannot be repaired. And that gift is the baby boy that was very much in the world. And that gift is the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, anyone who can give me that gift all the time. Because I know that that gift can't be exchanged. All right, all right. And it sure enough, it's not going to be the wrong size. It's what we need. Yeah. And if you don't have them, I invite you today to examine this. As the topic said, let a man examine himself. And the word of God. 11 20. First Corinthians, 11th chapter. The 27th down to the 34th verses. Therefore, whoever eats the bread and drink the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of sinning against the body and the blood. A man ought to examine himself before he eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For anyone who eats and drinks without recognizing the body of the Lord eats and drink judgment of himself. That is why many among you are weak and sick. And the number of you have fallen asleep. But if we judge ourselves, we will not come under judgment. When we are judged by the Lord, 
we are being disciplined so that we will not be condemned with the world. So then, my brothers, when you come together to eat, wait for each other. If anyone is hungry, he should eat at home so that when you eat together, it may not result in judgment. The word of God is always blessed. But oh Lord to God, my brothers and sisters, we must realize not to take the time in which we live. We need to do a self-examination. Self-examination for this time that we live is very essential. So we can correct ourselves on a regular basis to make sure we continue to bring honor to God and Christ Jesus. Oh yes, the scripture is what many pastors and evangelists relates to on communion Sunday. And it is through this, this scripture, God is asking each one of us on today to take an honest look at ourselves and the life in which we live. See just who we really are and how we really are and if we are in alignment with God's word and his will. If we are walking worthy of our calling in the light of Christ Jesus. We may want to start to examine ourselves on this morning as a husband or a wife, as a mother, a father to our children, as an employee to the employer, to those who work for us. We could examine ourselves within the context of our neighborhood. Are we someone that people like to live next to? Oh, glory to God. We can examine ourselves by going down each one of the Ten Commandments, reflecting and meditating on our life daily to see where we may fall short and miss the mark. Lord knows, church, we are not perfect, but we are trying to reach perfection. And we know that it's a process. But if we go through the process, whether it's a long process, short process, or a medium process, we need to know that we are not alone. Right. We are not alone going through the process. But God's words tells us He will never leave us nor forsake us. Right. But just go through your self examination. I am convinced and believe strongly. God put us through situations in our lives to test our faith. But He gives us opportunity to change and maturity in our faith. We can examine our children as they go to school. And we know that they are going to be given tests and examination to really see exactly what they have and have not accomplished up to the standards. Our jobs, our employers give us some type of yearly evaluation so that they can see exactly how they and how we are performing in the company and what areas in our lives that we need to improve in. Church, we can examine ourselves on how much television we watch. Yes, I said how much television we watch each week and what kind of TV programs we decide to view. And Lord knows we need to take the time out to examine and check and see what our children is reviewing on the television. Because now, we can say that the TV is just another babysitter for us. You don't want to be bothered. Go to your room, go to your computer, watch the television. But then are you examining what they're watching? Are you examining if they are on Facebook, you know, watching all kinds of things? You know, emailing someone who is just sitting there waiting for them to take the bait. Lord, nurse. We need to examine 